Hello everyone, welcome to T. Jones Gaming. Today we are playing The Walking Dead, and this is rated M for language, explicit language, and there's going to be cartoon violence. Episode 1, A New Day. Zombies. Hello, zombies. What is that? Is that gunshots? Oh, good, it's distracting them. Whoo, scary. It's like a nice neighborhood. Okay, there's stuff to look at. Let's look here. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. Let's go back over here and look at this stuff. Examine tea set. I didn't even realize it was a tea set. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. <laughs> What'd you know? Help! I'm gonna look at the treehouse. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Maybe we'll shout up there. Talk to treehouse. Anybody up there? Okay. Let's go to the sliding glass door. We'll just hobble Somebody. around. Yell if you can hear me. Hobble around to the steps. Don't mind us. We got a leg injury. Hello. Anybody home? Yeah. Need a little help. If there is anyone home, they're probably zombies. Look through. What's the hand one? Hello. Do? I'm gonna knock. I just want to go in. I should have just done the go in one. Open. Come on, tough guy. Break it open. There you go. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? That's the first thing I always do in a zombie apocalypse is break into somebody's home. Kind of are an intruder. Something went wrong here. Look at coloring book. Little unicorn. Looks like that unicorn was pooping. Let's look again. You see that? Like little poop dropping out of its butt. Splash. Oh, it's a plant. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Look at bowl of fruit. <laughs> Fake fruit. There's some blood. Examine pool of blood. Jesus. Well, we already looked at all that stuff. Oh, there's something happening here. It's an answering machine. Let's just play. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Santa, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, 
left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. There's the family. Old Clementine. Daddy? She's hiding somewhere. She's probably not in the drawer. But <laughs> let's just check in there anyway, shall we? There's a radio. Sure. Let's hold on to that. You need to be quiet. Oh, she's on the radio? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Let's find out how old she is. What's your, name? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. So where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Ooh, we had to fight her. Oh, watch out for the blood. I kicked her right in the head. Ugh. Got a caver skull in, buddy. Clementine, she's got a hammer for us. Quick, give us the hammer, Clementine. Quick, we need the hammer. Oh, we're fighting her. Why does she have no crotch? Boom! Give us the hammer. Oh, smash her face. Hit her again. You gotta get her brain. One more time. Boom. One more time just to make sure. Oh, it's brutal. Do I have to keep doing it? No. Yeah, she's not looking good. Is that Sandra? Woo! Hi there. Did you kill it? Uh, yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, too. You've been Clementine will remember this. that. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Find help before it gets dark. Yeah. You chose the safety of daylight. Let's go. Stay close to me. So now I'm responsible for this eight year old girl. What if I don't want that responsibility? Huh? I'll just leave her in her tree house. I'm not, I'm not gonna bring the hammer. Where's my hammer? I've been watching this series, so I know. This guy doesn't know nothing. I still have a walkie-talkie. Okay, he walks like a zombie. I wouldn't trust him. He's a mess. Walk faster. Alright, let's check. 
check the garbage can. Oh, open gate. Open the gate already. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. We're safe. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. <laughs> the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... I'm a neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Sean Let's noticed we're dead. Is that good or bad? What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming up. We gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Why don't you just drive on some lawns or something? Push that car. Look at how strong I am with my bad leg. Why isn't that happening? Keep pushing. What are you guys stopping for? Yeah, see Clementine. What's up with that big white guy back there? Hey, get in the truck quick. Man, yeah, that guy has to ride in the back. What are those guys? Neighbors too? At least Clementine doesn't have to see her parents looking like that. Maybe every time it says loading, that's a save point? You think so? I don't know. Well, cornfield. It's always sketchy. There's lights on at the farmhouse. That's, that's probably a good sign. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Probably good that we're out of town. Less zombies in the countryside, I imagine. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. We'll reckon down the way things as mayor's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You. Take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? 
it's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Hershel Green. Hershel knows your name. Why is there a little question mark? Herschel made a note of that. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. House is full up with mine. Herschel will definitely remember that. Sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I didn't get your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> you probably just die. Well, that antibody. Blankets. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right then. It smells like. Should have said manure, I guess. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Lee's having a nightmare. Well, this seems like a good spot to end the episode. Hey, get up. What itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky Thanks you for joining spot. me. This seems like a good spot to end the episode. Go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time for more exciting Walking Dead action. Until then, take it easy.